Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I have a collected thrift haul for you guys. So I have been thrifting for the last couple of weeks on and off, finding wonderful finds that are budget friendly and saving my coins. You know I love to save my coins. This is a budget friendly channel over here where I do budget friendly hauls, budget friendly DIYs, budget-friendly ideas. I'm just your all-around budget-friendly girl. <laughs> but anyway, I want to share with you guys some of the wonderful things that I have found at my local Goodwill. And we're going to go ahead and jump into the video right now. First thing first is this acrylic box. I got it from the Goodwill. Matter of fact, all of these items are thrifted from the Goodwill. So I got this acrylic box. <coughs> It has a little design up top, which I thought was very different. Um, it almost have like a little bit of a glimmer in the black parts here, these lines here. In there, I don't know if it will show up well on the camera. It doesn't look like it will, but that's okay. But that's the pattern. And of course it opens up. And then in the inside, it has the same pattern down there. And um, this box, Cost me $2.99 at the Goodwill. $2.99. And as you see, it originated from Home Goods at a original price of $19.99. But um, yeah, it's in really great shape. Um, I picked it up, I said, because worst case scenario, I could just store my makeup in it or jewelry or something. I don't know. But if you guys have any ideas what I can do with this cute little acrylic box then please share them with me in the comment section below help your girl out because my little brain is burnt when it comes to this box right now i just can't really think of nothing super different or special to do with it next thing on the list is this right here one of my favorite things this is a little um i don't know i guess a picture plaque um and it's made like a picture but you know, some black. And the funniest thing about this thing is I love the saying. It's the saying. This is the reason why I want it. And if you can read it, if you want breakfast in bed, sleep in the kitchen. Um, I got this from Goodwill for $2.99. It originated from at home for $9.99. So $9.99 and I paid $2.99. I call that a great deal. I love the colors in it because this is the colors of my kitchen. But anyway, great deal so far, you think? I think so too. Next thing is this basket here. This uh, is my rustic basket that I fell in love with at the Goodwill. It has this little handle here. It's made um, like with that chicken wire kind of stuff. And yeah. So I guess you could store your fruits, your vegetables in it, or whatever you want to do. You know, over here, we do all kinds of stuff. We even do stuff um, different than what you normally would do. You know, we repurpose things around here. So I'm not exactly sure um, if I'm going to repurpose it or, <clears throat> or do anything else to it. I do think I am going to leave it the exact color that it is. It is like that rustic brown light type color. Um, and I actually kind of like that. So I think I'm going to leave it alone. Originally, I thought that I would repaint it or something, but I don't think I'm going to. So anyhow, I did Google this because I was curious about the price of how much one of these would cost. And I found out that this actually runs about $50 right now on Amazon. And I wouldn't personally pay that much for a basket. Um, me, especially one that, I mean, it's made decent enough. I just don't see $50 for it. I don't see maybe 30, 50, no. But anyway, I got it for one buck, one dollar, you guys. So yeah, definitely a great deal. I got it for one dollar only because the lady could not find the price written on here at the time and neither could I. So when she said one dollar and she linked them and say, I'm just saying that because I don't know what the price is. I was like, okay, thank you. One dollar, I'll take it. Thank you very much. I was so happy. When I got home, I looked for that price and I looked and looked and looked. Finally, I found it. And originally they had wanted five dollars and ninety-nine cents for it, which is still a great deal. So they originally wanted six dollars for it, but I got it for one dollar. So another score for me. 
You guys, I thought I was like doing a happy dance up out of there um, with that little dollar basket. You couldn't tell me nothing. Couldn't tell me nothing. So moving right along. Next thing I got was this cute little glass. I don't know what this is, a vase, but I don't know. I just like the shape of it. The lip on it was very nice. The size of it was really nice. Beautiful silver bowl here. And I knew my light was gonna act crazy. So let me move around so I can get you guys to see the intricate design in there. Look at it. The, and this is like actual lips of etching. And this is metal or steel. I don't know what to call it, but it is hard like metal. This is how it's made. And it is like pretty silver, you guys. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I paid $12.99 for it. So I'm going to have to clean that off. But I paid $12.99 for it. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell me where it was from. It do, however, say it was made in India. You know, they usually have great quality items um, made over there as well. And very different items. Um, I've been purchasing a lot more things that seem to have been made in India here lately. Um, but yeah, very nice, you guys. Very nice. So I cannot wait to use this. It's gorgeous. Next thing, and excuse me for all the bending and moving because I'm trying to get the smaller pieces out the way because the next things that I show you guys, I'm going to actually have to stand up, turn the camera around, and show you because they're big pieces of furniture and next stuff. The thing that I got is this beautiful, I don't know what to call it, you guys, but it's like, um, oh, see, this is one of the pieces. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but this piece here, um, it's like a flower stand. I'm going to see if I can try to get the majority of it in the camera. And it goes all the way up. Like that, it's one of those pieces. Yeah. So that's how it go. And it has a light on it. So let me cut it on and show you guys with a timer. Now look at that, isn't that so pretty? I wish I found two of them just the same. Now they had one similar, but it didn't have a light on it and it wasn't really the same color, so I didn't get it. But this is so pretty. I wish you could see, um, see if I can get it to show you how it looks. But anyway, I paid, um, $7.99, uh-oh, $7.99 for it. So, yeah, I think that is so cute. I'm going to see it right there. Okay, so $7.99 for that. I thought it was very nice for the fall and everything and... Yeah, I just really think it's cute. So, next thing, um, I got two more things I'm going to show you. Um, let me stand up and show you. Okay, so this is my next piece. It is this gorgeous little cart here. And I'm so glad that they didn't write on it because it is wood. Because they're the good wheels here are so good for writing on stuff. But um, usually you could wipe them off with alcohol. But if they wrote on this, there's no way I could have gotten it off. But um, it is a kitchen cart, bar cart. Kitchen cart slash bar cart uh, or a kitchen cart. But I plan on probably possibly using it as a bar cart. I don't know what I'm going to do because I kind of want it both. So maybe I'll just use it as what it's intended for and still search for me a bar cart. So um, you have your place where your knives and stuff go here. And let me tell you the price. I got it for $24.99. It has, um, of course, it rolls. <laughs> and it will be rolling now. It has a drawer here. I should have locked it. I didn't put the brakes on. And then it has a cutting, cutting board there. And this cutting board actually comes all the way out if you need to put it up here and use it. Or use it somewhere else. And, of course, it's reversible if you want to, I guess, serve on it or whatnot. So, yeah. And it has a place for your wines to sit there. A place for storage here. Also, the towel rack is here. And it has wheels. And turn it. 
And this is what it looks like on the back. Nothing special, just the back of it. So definitely, you guys. Now, when I got it, it was a little bit shaky wobbly, but all it needed, it wasn't terribly wobbly. I checked it out and I knew that all it needed was tightened up. So I took the little things off and used the um that little special tool and tightened it up. So now I'm trying to decide whether or not I should restain it or just leave it alone or paint it or what. You guys let me know what you think I should do. Should I leave it alone, stain it a darker color to match um, my kitchen cabinets? But we are really actually probably about to be moving soon. So I don't know. Maybe I should just leave it alone until we figure out what we're going to do. Because um, we're in a house in the market for a new house now. So anyhow, I don't know. But that was $24.99 and I thought that it was an awesome deal. You guys let me know if you thought so too or if you thought that maybe I did not get quite a good deal for it. Now the next thing I got was just this little bathroom storage stand here. And I'm sorry if you can't really tell what it looks like and everything. But it's in great shape. It actually looked like it hadn't been used at all. But um, it's brown. And I got this for... um. It's got the sticker on here for me for saying that I bought it. <laughs> but it was $10.99, so $11. Leah just woke up, you guys, and she's happy that her brother's at home. So, yeah, forgive me for the hollering, but we're about to end this video now. So, yeah, so $11. All right, guys, so this is it for the um haul. That was the last piece that I wanted to share with you guys for today. So if you think I did a pretty good job with buying some uh, great deals, then please let me know in the comment section below. Let me know any ideas you have on certain pieces and let me know which one you think was the best deal of the day. And if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and think about joining our family here at Hannah Daily Life by clicking the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share it with everyone that you can even think of. I hope you have a beautiful and restful night. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.